Hello, and welcome to Notes and Nine. I'm David Leedy from NotesandNine.com. Episode 23, The Great X Pages Race. Ready, set, go. Okay, this is a special show that's kind of designed to answer a simple question. Is Domino really so rad? And this question is being asked over on CodeStore.net by a, a great web designer named uh, Jake Howlett, or Howlett uh, from Rock All Design. And he uses, uh, he has used Lotus Domino, though he's kind of gotten away from it. And he's now using Flex and ASP.net. And he's asking the question, uh, can a simple web app be built in under five minutes? And it's got to have CRUD, which is a term for create, read, update, and delete capabilities. Um, so what he did is he did a video using classic web domino techniques, and and there was no there was very poor sound, and, and I think he kind of made it, but the video cut off right at five minutes. Um, so I, I don't know if he called that a, a five minute win or not for classic domino. Then he did another one using some ASP tools uh, and some some kind of add into ASP.net I think called scaffolding, and then he was able to do it in, in two minutes and thirty seconds, which you know, Okay, that, that was kind of impressive. Um, but I wanted to see how we could do it in, in X Pages because X Pages is, uh, is you know, the, the future of, of Domino programming. And, and I believe it's rad. So let's, let's see how we do. Okay, here we go. New database. Server. We'll call it CRUD. We're going to need a form. We'll call that contact. Okay, then we're going to make four fields. And this will be name company, email, phone. All right, so we've got our form. We don't need any markup because, of course, this is X pages. Okay, and we're going to, oops, view. We're going to do this first. We're going to do name, and we'll just throw on email. So we're going to put name here, and we're going to do email there, and we've got our view. Just called view. Okay, now X pages. Now we're going to make X contact, name of our form. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bind it to data. We're going to define our data source, download document, what form contact, just leave it as document one, done. Then we're going to grab our little guys here and drag them over here. Add our submit and some messages. I'll save that. What the heck? Now we've got our form. Okay, come back here. We're going to make another X page. X view. And we're going to bind this to data. But this one's going to be a view. And we're going to do this. And we're going to call it view. Now we've got our view. I'm going to make a little space there. Name, email. And we'll set that to go there. So now we've got our view. Okay, now we go back to our core controls. And it's a little messy because I've got the extension library on, but uh, I don't actually use it here. We're going to create some new buttons here. Okay, so this one's going to be new. So events, I'll make some room here for everyone to see. Add action. What page do we want to open? We'll open our contact page. We'll call that a new document. Over here, the label. This is going to be our delete mechanism. And again, now we're going to add an action. Oops. Oops, and it's gonna, this one's going to be delete selected documents from where? From the view panel, which is the default name. Done. Now we go to our view panel, and we go to our properties, and we want to say, well, let's show these as links, and we're going to add a checkbox. And oop, let's go back to our X page. And after our submit, let's return. We're going to add an action. We're going to return to our view. Okay, now last thing we really have to do is go back into our form. And what we want to do is kind of like link this form, this document, to the contact. Okay, now if we go to our view and say design, preview, and web browser, and then explorer, and sign in. Okay, so now if we say new. David Leedy, notes nine, whatever. 
now we're back here we can see David Leedy we're gonna do another one we're just do a test one can we edit we click on this and we edit that and if we come back it is there and then if we click on this and it's deleted and there you have it okay and and that was the demo so I was under f four minutes I mean it was, it was really about three minutes and 47 seconds and uh, it's more than two minutes and 30 seconds that he did it uh, but first of all this is all in fun um, and I will say that he did use an add-on to the product where I did not. Uh, but in the real world, you're going to use add-ons. He has whatever that thing is, and we've got the extension library, which uh, gives us a lot of power. Uh, but it's not a, a scripting, it's not going to build code for you. Uh, but again, I've got no knowledge of ASP.NET. I've got no knowledge of scaffolding. Um, all pro platforms have pros and cons. Uh, I just happen to think that for most tests at X pages now, uh, with the Domino server, um, can't be beat and it'll be interesting to extend this maybe a little further maybe another five minutes can we add security can we add uh, you know some kind of scheduling uh, code that runs to update things you know can we add something else I'm not saying I'm gonna do that uh, but it, it, it could be done the next pages obviously very easily with what is given to us on the Lotus Domino stack Okay, um, so the question is, is Domino really so rad? Uh, I'm going to call that a big old yes. And uh, that's not the only rad platform out there. There's a lot of them, but definitely Domino with X pages on top of it is rapid application development. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, here's my contact information. Uh, I use an old, older slide deck here because uh, I screwed up. Uh, uh, notice that there is an, uh, another website, xpagescheatsheet.com. If you're looking to get into XPages, uh, go there and, and download the cheat sheet. Thank you.